welcome back to my channel planning with Bree. Uh, today I am going to be two different I'm going to be doing two different collages. One is going to be for my book reviews of most of the books that I read in August and then the second page is just going to be a collage. Sometimes I just sit down with my journal and I just want to create something. Um, so first thing I'm going to do is do the book reviews for August and I'm just laying down some scrap pieces of paper, literally scrap pieces of paper <laughs> that I have. I have this little picture of some books from a magazine that I cut out and then this tan ish light tan ish craft paper that somebody gave me um actually it was my mom <laughs> it was a funny story she said they used to put their resumes on paper like this like back in the day when they went to go you know job hunting and she had a lot of it left and since everything is virtual and digital now she doesn't use it so now i have it <laughs> so for august i read about five books but there are only three that I'm putting on this page because I grossly underestimated the amount of room I would need for the books that I read so the books that I am going to put on this page and talk about first is Memphis by Tara M. Stringfellow now I like this book I did now I'm a little partial because I was raised in Memphis so I'm a little partial to it but um, some of the things I wrote on this page, number one, I gave it four stars out of five. One of the things I didn't like about this book was um, there almost seemed to be no closure. Um, kind of. I didn't like that, even though, you know, in life you don't get closure. So, but I kind of would have liked for that to kind of be wrapped up in a bow. Um, but the things I loved about this book is the importance it puts on the relationship between uh, the women in a family. I love the uh, younger girls in the book, like um, Joan, the main character, one of the main characters. She um, was an artist and she loved art. That was just like one of her things. She always had a sketchbook handy and she was just doing a lot of things to hone in on that even though it was something that she kind of got some pushback for. Um, some other things that I, I liked and disliked about this book. One, there always seemed to be like a dark cloud over the family. There was always some tension because of some things that happened and I didn't like how the sisters August and Miriam um, they just kind of brushed over it and just kind of act like it wasn't there instead of addressing it some of the times but they did start addressing it and they moved past it which goes back to what I said about loving this book because of the relationships between the women in the family so I really enjoyed this book I really didn't even give a synopsis it's about it's a multi-generational book uh, with three generations it has hazel um who was married to a man named myron she had they had two daughters august and miriam and august had two daughters joan and maya excuse me no <laughs> august had one son whose name is Derek, and then miriam had two daughters maya and joan so um, that's pretty. I hope I got their names right. If I didn't, I'll put it on the screen. I kind of get their names mixed up sometimes, but some of the things I really, really loved about this book, man, like some of the sayings that they would say were really funny. Some of the things that they would do, I laughed probably at inappropriate times. Um, I want y'all to read this book because there is <laughs> this scene about some red shoes that should have not been funny. But to me, at the end of that scene, I was cracking up laughing because a woman from Memphis would definitely say exactly what Miriam said. <laughs> it was just, it was really funny. Another book I read was Children of Blood and Bone. I know I'm late, okay? I know that I'm late. I'm about, what, four years late? I get it. But it was really cute. I mean, it was like a children's adventure fantasy book. I won't say children, but it was like a young adult is what they call it, I guess. YA on the booktube. So, um, and I'll say that in all, 
in all gist. I'm just joking, guys. Um, I, I think it really is called YA Fantasy, and it was really good to me. I gave it um, three and a half out of five stars. I think there were some things I didn't like about it. It was a little too childish for me, kind of. Um, but I don't know. I still had a good plot. still had a good premise. I also read The Perfect Marriage, this book. Listen. If you like to read, but you also used to watch Lifetime movies with your mama or soap operas with your grandmama growing up, uh, this was really good for that type of thing. It was suspenseful. The ending was funny. Well, it wasn't funny. It was crazy. Okay, I told y'all I laugh at inappropriate times. So when it was revealed, I laughed. I shouldn't have, but I did. Um... I mean, the perfect marriage was just really funny. I didn't like one thing about it, and that is the main character. There are two main characters. Um, I realize I'm not telling y'all what these books are about. Sorry, this is why I don't have a book too. But the perfect marriage is about this couple. I think the man's name is Alex, and the woman's name is Sarah. Sarah is a high power attorney in like the DC area. She is very, very good at her thing. Okay, and Alex is a struggling writer. Uh, Alex is cheating on Sarah with a young lady and the young lady comes up dead in their lake house. So Sarah defends her husband on his murder trial to get him off, right? Because she's the best lawyer. She's the best attorney. Some things I didn't like about this book was Alex was just a little too whiny for me. Okay. Like how you cheat on your wife and you got the nerve to whine about certain things, you know, um, I don't know. And his mom was a, mm, if you know what I mean, she was, she was mean to, to put it nicely to Sarah, uh, even though her, her son was the one cheating. I don't get that. But you know, she coddled her baby, even though he was a grown man. So am I raving? I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, but I liked all three of those books. I think I had a really good month. Uh, two other books I read were some romance novels. Um, I'm going to put them in my first bullet journal, and I'll probably talk about them a little more when I do my flip through at the end of the year. On to the next page. So if you notice, I am using my August colors for the book review because those are the books that I read in August. But I am using now the colors for my September spread and my uh, theme for September for the next spread. I laid down various pieces of different paper, different patterns. I even had some words in there. Um, I made these pages on Sunday when I was not feeling the best um, mentally. Like I just didn't have a good day. My day at work was fine. I just uh, something hit me and I just I wasn't having a good day. So I wanted to come home and kind of put how I felt on paper without writing about it. I feel like if I wrote about it, I was gonna cry more, even though I am still gonna write about it, um, just to get through my feelings and, you know, journal it out. But I wanted a visual representation of how I felt. So I put all of those papers down to just kind of it being like a messy background, a whole lot of things just muddled in the background. Um, and I, then I put this beautiful butterfly on top of all of that, just like, Hey, every, she's all right. She's floating through, living her life. You know what I mean? Like, yes, it's crazy, but we gonna fly through the crazy. <laughs> so, um, and I'm going to stamp out the one thing that kind of kept me grounded and not spiraling or continue to spiral. And that is to um, ask God for peace that surpasses all understanding. No matter what is going on, how I feel, you know, just I'm going to ask God for peace that surpasses all understanding. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know these two pages kind of look really funny next to each other, but I wanted to give a nod to my August and my September theme at the same time. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time, guys. Bye.